A.K.A. Harry Petrie, Uncle Hydro. Uh, he's coming up here. He's going to give a speech about how uh, you might be able to keep um, yourself from unjustifiably being arrested. Right. Well, you ought to give it up. Make a lot of noise for Harry Hydro. technician that falsified over 34,000 drug tests. And this is just the tip of the uh, iceberg of false testimony in probably millions of cases. No one can get convicted of possession of marijuana if they do three things. The first is shut the hell up and never ever agree to a search. Never admit to anything. Stop talking. We have been conditioned to confess our souls to authority. Every time a crime show has a criminal confessing at the end of the program, right? Every time. The cops are not your friends and they do not want to help you. They want to send you to jail. Never ever agree to a search. Let them bring the dogs. It doesn't matter. Never give in. If they go ahead and search, then your lawyer can fix that in court. Do not help the cops in their quest to prosecute you. Shut up. Don't cooperate, even if they threaten you. Remember, they can kill you, but they can't eat you. Yeah. yeah. Joke aside, you never speak until you're in court with your lawyer. Now the second thing is, never accept a plea bargain. Make them work for the conviction. Ask for a jury trial. It's, it is only a court that you can stop them in their twisted pursuit to put you in jail. The third thing is, you want them to prove that you had marijuana. You want an evidentiary hearing. At the evidentiary hearing, you and your lawyer will challenge the testing 
that they say proves marijuana. But the truth is, they can't prove it. Today, the most popular test was discredited in 1979 by the Supreme Court. That's right, the Supreme Court has said the Bucanoy Levine test is worthless at proving marijuana. This test is so bad at giving false positives that uh, it will show positive for a Hershey's bar. There are other tests as well that have such low accuracy that today's police force and labs cannot prove you possess marijuana in a court of law. That is why you always want an evidentiary hearing. You can shoot down any proof they have if you follow the first rule. Never go to jail for marijuana. Why? Because they cannot prove you have marijuana. The only way they can convict you is if you testify against yourself. So shut the hell up. If you have immediate needs, contact me at Facebook. I'm Harry Hydro. You can find me on the members list to keep stream on. There is a book on the subject that will be in print very soon. I'll announce it when it's available. In the meantime, send me your lawyer's name and address. I'll make sure they get a copy. Every lawyer in Georgia needs a copy of this book. I hope everyone who uses or has used will get a copy. Knowledge is a weapon. You need to earn yourself. And remember, never go to jail for marijuana. Yeah. 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 Good job. Yeah. Good job. Very demand. I do All right, well, I want to make you. I want you to make a little bit more noise for uh, Uncle Hydro there. Definitely taking notes. Uh, and, and to add on to what he said, he's right. Knowledge is a, a weapon against all kinds of things. James Madison once said, those who wish to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power which knowledge gives. Amen. So uh, most definitely, the more no knowledgeable you are, the more protected you are. Uh, all right, coming up next, representing Georgia Normal, we have Al Herman. He's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the legislative process, and I want y'all to give it up, make a lot of noise for Al Herman! Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, Al! I feel good today. And it's not because of the weather, although it's a beautiful day for sure. And it's certainly not because of uh, the hundreds and hundreds of people who are here. It's not the attendance, <laughs> although I thank everybody who came today uh, for showing up and supporting the cause. Now, I feel good because it feels like, feels like we're winning. And what I'm talking about is we're, we're winning the war on drugs. Yeah. National polls are indicating that a majority, a wide majority of uh, U.S. citizens now favor legalization. Six states this election day are going to decide cannabis-related issues. And it just feels like after all these years that I've been involved in this, that we're close to a tipping point, finally. So uh, I am uh, with uh, Georgia Normal. Normal is an acronym for the National Organization of Reform of Marijuana Laws. Woo! Yeah! Here in Georgia, we've always had only one statewide affiliate up until this past year, but Georgia is so... Back ass Ass backwards. Ah. Is it ah. out of you? I was back ass the ass. Yeah, like, it's so backwards, uh, and we have no citizen-controlled process for getting referendums on the ballot. Amen. That national normal said, you know what? Let's split it up. You need two normals. So we now have two normal affiliates here in Georgia. We have Petrie Normal that uh, is responsible. It's uh, Sharon Raver and Woo! Harry Hydro and uh, a bunch of people you see here today are. They're responsible for dealing with the public and educating the public <laughs> about what's going on, what needs to be done to change the status quo and uh, the laws of relating to cannabis. Georgia Normal has its responsibility. We deal with the people inside this building. 
the elected representatives, and I'm going to use that term often, but it's, it's very important, Civics 101, we realize these are not our elected leaders. We are the people, we are the employers, they're our representatives, they're our employees, they're supposed to do what we want them to do. And we need to do a better job of letting them know, but once again, I'm getting ahead of myself. So here in uh, Georgia, uh, Georgia normal is uh, because we are we charged with the responsibility of uh, uh, lobbying the legislature. We're largely a bunch of uh, lawyers and lawyer types. I'm not one, which is one of the things that makes this so odd that uh, here I am, a lay person representing lawyers, and that doesn't really happen often in society. It's going on here today. Uh, the strategy within uh, Georgia Normal, we are looking for, after all these years of discouragement, we're looking for any advancement, we're looking for, we're willing to settle for incremental change. Of course, long term, we want full legalization for recreational and medicinal use of marijuana for everybody. 